In the following demonstration, we will be looking at the first of the new global illumination features of FormZ Render Zone Plus version 6.5. It is called ambient occlusion. It is also the simplest method and with just a few simple user controls allows you to greatly enhance the illumination quality of renderings in FormZ Render Zone Plus. Let's look at the first scene here. Simple scene, first rendered with just simple shading and next we can turn on the ambient occlusion effect in the render zone dialog and in the subsequent rendering we can see that areas such as corners and holes have some darkening applied to them through the ambient occlusion effect which immediately improves the realism and illumination quality of our rendering example. Let's see how we can apply ambient occlusion to an architectural interior rendering. What we have set up here, a simple interior scene, initially with some fill lights. Fill lights are quick ways to simulate reflected light in an interior scene. They are also a very crude approximation of realistic lighting. In the next step, we'll turn those fill lights off and turn the intensity of the ambient light all the way down to 0%. In the subsequent rendering, all indirectly illuminated areas will be completely black. No ambient light is recorded. In the next step, we turn up the in ambient light to a maximum intensity, just to check how bright the brightest areas indirectly illuminated should be. In a third step, we now apply the ambient occlusion effect in the render zone dialog. Just a few simple parameters need to be set up to control the ambient occlusion, the amount of contrast to be applied, how far out the ambient occlusion should reach from dark corners. And in the subsequent rendering, we can observe, observe the effect of ambient occlusion. We can see that corners will become darker, they are obscured, occluded by other objects, whereas surfaces such as the wall on the left here have no occlusion and therefore no sh extra shading applied to them. Similar areas that have tight corners such as the interiors of the shelves here on the bottom right side will show the darkest shading since they have the maximum amount of occlusion applied to them. Next we'll see how we can also use ambient occlusion effectively in an exterior rendering. Here is first a simple rendering of the Art Museum by Santiago Calatrava in Milwaukee. And on the exterior rendering we can see that quite a few details are simply washed out and not visible through the lack of contrast in our scene. Again we turn the ambient occlusion on and if there's not enough ambient light around the scene to provide detail we can add additional contrast in the ambient occlusion effect. And in the subsequent rendering then we can see that details such as the underside of the ceiling here at the top of the museum area such as the columns on the right side all of a sudden will show contrast and become much more visible. Even areas at the bottom, the steps that lead up to the museum become much more pronounced through the effect of ambient occlusion. 